Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome back to my Screeps Newbie Guide. This is just a quick addition to episode 8 because I want to fix the war repairer code. A lot of people have pointed out that it can um, create huge performance issues and can skyrocket your CPU usage. So I want to fix that. Before we do that though, I want to show you something else. Because my WebStorm um, trial period ran out, I decided to switch IDE to Visual Studio Community Edition, which is completely free. So Visual Studio Community Edition looks like this. Uh, you can download it, I will put a link to in the description below. And I want to show you how to set up a project, a Screeps project for it, uh, which is pretty simple actually, if you know how to do it. It's not easy to figure it out, but <laughs> when you know how to do it, it's easy. So follow these steps. Open your local folder, copy the, the folder path, uh, go to Visual Studio, Visual Studio um, press File, New Website, not Project, New Website. Choose the ASP.NET empty website, and down here choose File System for the web location, and paste your path in, um, in, in this er, in this box and then press OK, uh, OK, OK, <laughs> okie dokie. Uh, in the next dialog choose open the existing website and press OK and there we go, project is set up. The only thing it's missing is auto completion and we will add that now. So first we have to copy the folder, the autocomplete folder into, into the uh, source folder. Just put it in here um, if you don't have it already. I will put the link to that in the description below again if you still don't have it for some reason. And um, next step is you have to add a new file. This is the tricky part. Um, you create a new add, as you, you right click the website, press add, new item, choose JavaScript file, and now the name is important, so don't mistype, underscore references, press add, and now right click the file and choose update JavaScript references. It will put in some comments here, and when you save, it magically uh, magically enables autocomplete. I don't know how, I don't know how this works, but it does. So <laughs> I'm okay with it. Um, there we go. Okay, let's talk about the wall repairer, shall we? So the idea of the original code, which uh, we have here, was that we looked through different wall. Um, buckets of percentage of hit points. Well, that was a weird way of saying it. So basically we look for walls um, with low hit points in a certain percentage bucket. So first we look at all the walls with less than 0.1% um, hit points, I think, or something along those lines. If we don't find one, we increase the percentage to the next bucket, which would be 0.2% and so on until we find some walls. And if we do find some, then we will pick the closest of them. This can potentially become extremely expensive because of the closest part, because the pathfinding um, is very, very expensive and this could run a lot of time. So this is potentially dangerous. So um, this is the original code, uh, this one here, which didn't work back then because there was a bug in the API which made this filter not trigger for some reason. I think the bug is fixed now, so we could use this now, but it's, it's basically the same as this and both have the same performance problem. So. Let's write something completely new, shall we? We comment this out and we simplify the code a little bit. It doesn't really matter which wall we upgrade first. We don't have to go to the closest wall. We can, ch we can choose any wall. So we will not look for the closest wall, but just any wall. So we just iterate over all the walls. We have the array um, of walls up here, variable of walls, um, which is all the walls in the room. So we can iterate over that. Remember, iterating over an array, best way to do it is with either a for loop with an indexer variable or with a for off loop, which is what we're gonna do here. So for let wall of walls. So this will iterate over all the walls and in every iteration we have will have a different wall in the wall variable. So we now can just check if this if the current wall is um, uh, is in the current percentage bucket by um, using an if statement and basically Taking the old code, it, taking the old code. So we divide um, the current hit points by the maximum hit points of the wall. The variable changed, so we have to fix that here. There we go. So current hit points divided by max hit points, and we check if it is lower than the current percentage variable. And if that's the case, we found a wall that is fitting our uh, condition um, or our filter right now, and therefore we will choose it as the target and break the loop. Uh, there we go. So this will break this inner loop and target will be set afterwards, so not undefined, not be undefined. So this if condition will be true because target will not be undefined anymore and will break the outer loop and the war repair is done. Press save, that's it. Okay, we can delete this code now and we check really quick in the client if everything is working. We don't get any errors on the console. Um, there is a wall repairer somewhere. I think Dylan is the wall repairer. It seems like he's going back to spawn right now. 
uh, he um, to to the source. He was moving. He's not moving right now because the sources are, are filled up. Um, well, one is empty and the other is like there's too many other creeps in the way right now. So he's not moving. But this should work uh, theoretically. There we go. Yeah, he starts moving. And the war repairing code worked as well. I tried it already. This is not the first time I wrote these lines of code. So um, yeah, here we go. As I said, this is just a quick addition. So let's wrap it up here. I'm Th Pine. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun and see you next time.